What do you think's next for Anthony Joshua, Gareth? Because obviously Eddie suggested Wilder, but it seems more like it's unlikely it's going to be for December. Then he said, if it doesn't happen this year, AJ is definitely going to fight. And if he does, who do you think's out there for him? For like an in-between uh, fight for, before Wilder? Well, it's a, it's a difficult one. That That's one of the biggest poses in heavyweight boxing right now, because in some ways, Joshua needs something convincing to get into that major mix again. I've sat here and ruminated about should Anthony Joshua sit and wait for a Fury fight, but he's probably going to have to wait too long because Fury's fighting in November. I think he'll fight in January, and I think he'll fight again. I think there'll probably be a Usyk rematch. It'll probably be a two-fight thing. So maybe they'll fight at the end of the Riyadh season in March. If not, they'll fight at the beginning of 2024 season, all being well. So he's waiting 15 months, 17 months before he fights again. So he's got to do He's got to do a big roll of the dice. And the, the roll of the dice is Wilder. And now Wilder's got mileage on the clock, even though he's very dangerous after those three fights with Fury. But it, maybe it's time to take that risk. Maybe it is time to do that. So... Um, so who it's did, a big who did he fight in between though because it's all, it's not going to get made for December because it seems like it's too soon but Eddie's said if it doesn't get made for December AJ will fight in December who could he potentially fight that's going to be the right fight just before Deontay Wilder so it would be someone who he needs to knock out and be and make a statement against they could pick anyone it could be um, it could be a Dempsey McKean it could be a um, Flip Hergovic. I won't be a Flip Hergovic actually. I think I'll give him too many problems. But um, and he's waiting for a fight with Usyk, isn't he? So um, I, I, I'm I'm stumped. I mean, you know, I'm, I mean, Joseph Parker after he's fought in October. I don't know. I mean, I think he beat Simon Keane fairly handily. Um, they're not going to put him in against difficult guys like Martin Bacoli before the Wilder fight. I think he should wait and just fight Wilder. Well, the last thing on that, what we found out yesterday, you know, we spoke to KD, you know, part of uh, Anthony Josh's management team. And yeah, he yeah. revealed that age is currently ticking over in Ben Davison's gym. Obviously, Ben, people that don't know, was the guy that brought Tyson Fury back from, you know, when he, when he retired. So a bit of an interesting one, but he, he did clarify that he was ticking over there and uh, because Derek James is quite busy at the moment. So what do you make of that? You know, why Ben Davison? Do you think there's mind games there or...? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's a really weird one with Joshua because that he's got um, that he's got to um, he's got to the point where he can only have big fights, in my view. Now he's had his warm ups. He's had those fights where um, he can prove himself, but hasn't gone all out. His style has changed. Um, I heard Johnny Nelson talking about him the other night and I couldn't really put it any other way better than he did, which is Joshua's in no man's land right now in lots of ways, um, mentally, after the two fights with Usyk. He didn't think Usyk would beat him in the first fight. He couldn't believe it and realised he didn't belong in, at the very top of the sport when he lost the second time to Usyk. And he's in this difficult place where... Does he really believe he's at the top of the sport anymore? He had problems, not problems, but it wasn't an easy night against Jermaine Franklin. And he really took his time against Robert Hellenius. And he's not a wrecking ball fighter anymore. He's a guy that really takes his time now to break someone up. And there's nothing wrong with that. But this isn't the guy that can go out there and destroy opponents anymore because he just doesn't do it. He's not mentally there. So... What Johnny was saying was that as a fighter, when that's happened to you, in your mind, you're questioning yourself. And he needs a, a thoroughly convincing victory against someone at the top level to let himself know that he's still there. Otherwise, he might as well just check out with the biggest couple of fights he can get financially and leave it at that. What, what do you make of the fact that he's, he's taking over with Ben Davison? Um, which was yeah, that's the... great. Ben Davison's terrific. I've got so much time for Ben Davison. He's, I mean, if you're suggesting it's mind games because he trained Tyson Fury, I, I don't know. I think, you know, he's just a clever trainer who might do good things for Anthony Joshua. 
yeah, it's, it's definitely an interesting one. Um, it's interesting to see how, how that uh, unravels. Do you think there's any potential of maybe, obviously, they have clearly said that he's just ticking over whilst Derek uh, has some free time. But what if he did a dramatic cha trainer change and went to Ben Davison? I wouldn't disagree with that, but I think he's too, he gets on too well with Derek James, according to what he said, to change that. Well, don't you think, don't you think it's, it's a difficult situation with Anthony Joshua at the moment? He's made millions. He's a two-time heavyweight champion in the world. And we're wondering what he's going to do next because he's still a work in progress. and He's still developing his style and he's still, and he's not the same fighter that he was. And for me, he's become a Klitschko, like a Klitschko, a Klitschko type fighter who fights behind the jab and eventually opens up against his opponent. There's something, he's a terrific guy. He's done amazing things. He's incredibly successful, but maybe he's had his time. I mean, do you think he's got great performances left in him? Uh -huh. I hope he has. I, well, I, I rarely give my opinions, but I, I, what I will say is that I generally do feel sorry for the fact that he has to live there and have so many people have this opinion of him that he's lost it and he's not got it anymore because I can only imagine how it is to deal with that because you see his interviews, everything's kind of changed over the last year and I get the feeling that's because he's watching what people are saying about him and it's probably making him question himself, but I think he's still got it. You know, I mean, he's, he's went out and sparked at Robert Hellenius, who was, you know, who failed a test after that fight as well. So I think, who knows, maybe when, when he fights Wilder, if it happens, it'll all just click and, you know, I mean, well, oh, no, I hope so. And I if, hope so. And if he beats but they're talking about him needing another fight before he fights Wilder. I don't know, maybe it could be a money thing, but what I, what I think is if he beats Wilder, I hope people give him the credit that he's due and people don't say, oh, Wilder was past it. Because as you know, the boxing world, that's what people normally do. No, if he beats Wilder, he is back in the big time, in my view. He is back in the big time. I just hope he gets the credit because because people are now saying he's finished, but if he beats Wilder, they'll say, oh, Wilder was done. I just hope they give him the credit if, you know, if and when that That's happens. boxing. That's what people always say. If he beats Wilder, that is a phenomenal victory. Phenomenal victory. Listen, he was a whisker away from beating Usyk the second time, in my view. It was, it was we were there, weren't we, in Jeddah? Yeah. We were both there. He, he, he put up a terrific performance. It wasn't quite enough. His emotion on the night was because he was so frustrated with himself, if you recall. Yeah. So frustrated with himself. Um, and like I said, you know, you, you ask me a question, I'm going to give you an honest answer. If Fury gets sparked out by, by Usyk, then I'll say, well, he's let it go. And he was beaten by the better man on the night. You know, I think Fury beats Usyk. I think Fury um, beats Joshua. I think Wilder beats Usyk. You know, I think he gets to him. You know, I think Wilder beats Joshua. I would like to be proved wrong by Joshua. It's just what I think. I don't say it because I want that to happen. I say it because that's what I think will happen. You know? Let's hope these fights happen, Gareth. Um... Yeah. I think they will. It's been a pleasure speaking to you. I'm looking you forward too, to the season. I'm sure you'll be there and I'll hopefully we'll be there as well and uh, grabbing the content. Cheers, and bud. Fans out there, definitely recommend and get yourself across to Riyadh and enjoy your uh, Riyadh season. I'm, I'm fully intend to. Thank you.